generally defined as a word or a group of words by which a person, a thing, an animal, a class, a concept, a place is distinctively identified, known, called, or referred to. To the Gadangwe people of southeastern Ghana, the personal name is much, much more than a simple descriptive word. The name of a Gadangwe is also an index to his or her ancestry, lineage, dynasty, clan, or from which of the various patrilineage homesteads of the seven townships, what we call Akuche or quarters, that person is an indigenous. of. In fact, a Gadangwe personal name is indeed a virtual cultural genetic marker in line with the saying, Ganyugbe Elaje, the name of a typical Ga person can never get lost nor be mistaken. Gadangbes have a unique system of predetermined names that indicate the tiered rank in the order of a person's birth to the same parents. These names also give clues as to the gender of the person, as well as the particular traditional homestead or household from which he or she hails. The Gadangbe people inherit patrilineal, that is, from their father's ancestral roots. Hence, their names devolve from the paternal lineages. By the additions of certain prefixes, suffixes, or honorifics to the patriarchal root name, a person's name could indicate whether the father has had any other child or children in a previous marriage, or whether he is currently polygamous. The name of a Gadangbe could also carry an attachment to indicate the attended circumstance or circumstances of birth, or the actual place of the bearer's birth. A Gadangbe name with its attachment may give leads as to the area in the country from where the person's mother hails. A Gadangbe name may include a day of birth name, Klag Biagbe, also. This is in recognition of the particular day of the week on which the bearer of that name was born. Unlike the Western world where people believe in or read their horoscope by the zodiacal sign, these soul names, Klag Biagbe, are of very particular reverence to the community. These ancestral or clan names also tell the story of a person's birth, his or her pedigree, patrinity, ancestry, clan, birth, rank, gender, circumstance of birth, the actual day of the week on which he or she was born, or whether one is of a multiple birth, hanji, what we call twins. By the same token, a gadangbe name could indicate if one was orphaned at birth through the death of one's mother, ahien, or if one was born after the death of the father, Antoban. Again, the name would indicate if the bearer is a reverend child. Gobalo literally means a died and came back person, one supposed to have reincarnated after dying as an unnamed baby. Now, it is also to be noted that of the many categories of names mentioned, no person carries in one heap all those numerous strings of names given at the outdooring or Kujimo naming ceremony or bestowed naturally or given by the circumstance of birth. Quite a lot of determinants contribute as to which of these numerous names one could officially carry. But in most cases, the family's hierarchical or given names predominate. All the other names are held in abeyance until it is absolutely necessary for purposes of proving one's ancestry, pedigree, or for some other requirements.